Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity business, longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. We love hearing from you at 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible, 844-236-6010. If you uh, want to join the Brightside Ben team, love to have you as a member of the team. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business. Head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. Click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a perfect way to make some money working out of the comfort of your own living room, working as many or as few hours as you like, earning thank you checks for helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you have experienced the power of a nutritional supplement, program or the power of the longevity products or the beyond tangy tangerine or good nutrition in general and you want to help spread the word please join the brightside ben team at least check it out at brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com or call 866-735-2470 866-735-2470 for more information also would like you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surf, uh, uh, surfactants, silicon, fragrances, nothing your skin doesn't, want, doesn't need or doesn't want ever in any of our Truth Treatment products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truth treatments, plural, truthtreatments.com. <clears throat> all right. Welcome back to the bright side. Excuse me. <clears throat> Just a sec. We have been talking about inflammation and anti inflammation. We talked about inflammation, the relationship between inflammation and health, the relationship between inflammation and non health or disease. Disease is an inflammatory phenomenon. Chronic degenerative diseases always have an inflammatory component behind them. How healthy we are is going to be a function of the balance between these two very fundamental processes inflammation and anti-inflammation. Behind all chronic degenerative, degenerative disease is excessive inflammation. Doctors are obsessed with this. They're obsessed with this idea that inflammation is, if inflammation is the cause of degenerative disease, then anti-inflammation is an appropriate medical strategy. It does not follow that way because inflammation is a critical part of, 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 the, bio, of the biology of the body. The only way to shut it down is to poison it. And that's never a good thing. Now they have these new biologics, they call them. You've seen them advertised like crazy. They're ridiculously expensive. And they work by literally killing or destroying 
chemicals of the inflammatory system. The old steroids, they worked, they had a different mechanism. The old steroidal drugs and even the non-steroidal drugs, they, they were kind of, uh, they weren't as targeted. They didn't specifically target specific molecules. They just worked on the general inflammatory system. They work actually at the hormonal level. The new biologics don't work with hormones. The new biologics work by targeting, destroying specific chemicals that are important for inflammation. Nonetheless, they're still destructive, like all drugs. They're not friendly to the body, like all drugs. And they allow us to skirt or avoid the real problem, which is why are we inflaming? That's the real problem. Inflammation as a cause of degenerative disease needs to be addressed at, at the, at the uh, reason why we're at the cause of the inflammation. Inflammation is behind disease, but there's something behind the inflammation. That's what we want to know. Not destroy the inflammatory response. Let's figure out why we're inflaming. Inflammation is always the calling card of the immune system. It's how the immune system shows up. The immune system is our protective mechanism, phenomenally important. It's how the body protects itself, and inflammation is how the, is the tool uh, is the major tool of the immune system. But here's the thing: inflammation also triggers growth and repair. So that means that inflammation is not only behind disease; it's also behind growth and repair, and that's important. That means we can leverage inflammation. We can take advantage of inflammation. We can use inflammation. Next to respiration, inflammation slash anti-inflammation. They're a balance. Inflammation's always in balance with anti-inflammation. They're two sides of the same coin. And next to respiration, inflammation is probably the most fundamental biochemical process in the body. There, there may be, you can make a case for neurology maybe. Certainly it's one of the most fundamental biochemical processes of the body. And it's always occurring. Inflammation is always occurring. It's not necessarily a sign that we're sick. All manner of stresses on the body, all manner of mental stresses, emotional stresses, as well as physical stresses can initiate an inflammatory response. Nutritional deficiencies are one of the major causes of inflammation. We will inflame, the body will go into a protective mode and will be more prone towards inflaming under conditions of nutritional deficiencies. Low levels of oxygen make the body more prone towards, uh, towards inflaming. That's a triangle of disease for you right there. Sugar, inflama inflammatory. Digestive toxicity, inflammatory. Hypoxia, low levels of oxygen, inflammatory. Cortisol and uh, 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 the stress response, chemicals of the stress response are responses to inflammation. They're anti-inflammatory. One of the more underappreciated causes of inflammation is obesity. The body's body fat is actually part of the immune system. Body fat is actually inflammatory. The more body fat you're carrying, the more likely you are going to, you are going to be to inflame. Inflammatory biochemistry that follows obesity is thought to be the mechanism of diabetes, or, or one of the mechanisms of diabetes. Under conditions of inflammation, we, we're not going to handle our sugar as well. Fat cells are pro-inflammatory. This is why losing uh, body fat is so important. Not just so you can look good in a bathing suit, Losing body fat is important for health because it reduces the production of inflammatory chemicals. When you have carrying a lot of body fat, you throw off this inflammatory, anti-inflammatory balance. You're more prone towards inflammation. Losing body fat reduces that or reduces the risk of this out of balance inflammatory to anti-inflammatory ratio or proportion. The real interesting point, I think, though, is that you can leverage inflammation. You can use inflammation. Inflammation does not only lead to d disease, it leads to health. Inflammation doesn't only lead to destruction of tissue, it can actually lead to the buildup of tissue. It's not only anabolic, or not only catabolic, that is breakdown inducing, catabolism, catabolic means to break down. It's not only catabolic, it's also anabolic. It's also building. Inflammation is as an, it has an anabolic component as well as a catabolic component, and inflammation can help you with, anti, uh, can have an anti-aging anti -aging role. That's because of, it's an a anabolic. Anabolism is the essence of anti-aging. Anabolism means build up. So it, it growth and repair and anti-aging, these can all be, uh, you, can, you can maximize these by leveraging the power of inflammation, by taking advantage of inflammation and various inflammation stimuli, intentionally causing inf inflammation, controlled inflammation, if you will. This is especially important on the skin. 
I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to the bright side, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at Ben Fuchs Archives and BenFuchsArchive.com, also BrightSideBen.com, with search engines up on all the websites, on all three of those websites, Ben Fuchs Archive, Ben Fuchs Archives, and BrightSideBen.com. You can also purchase Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you if you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the longevity products, the health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with. Let us show you how simple and how easy it can be to reverse whatever your health challenge is. If it's not, if it's not a mechanical kind of trauma where something's just cut off, if it's in the realm of a chronic long-term degenerative diseases, if it's not... Uh, if it's not something permanent, like a permanent trauma to your body or permanent change to your body, everything's reversible, folks. Chronic degenerative disease tells you in the name degenerative that it's a verb. The body's degenerating, so you can reverse it. You can go from degenerating to regenerating. It's not cures. There's no cures here, folks. This isn't about cures. This is not magic. Cures is the world of magic. You can't say cures. Cures is, doctors hate that word. You can go to jail if you say cure in, in, case, in the case of certain health challenges. It doesn't matter. There's no cures. This is all about reversal. This is logic, science, not magic. It's logic, not magic. Cure is magic. Reversal is logic. And everything we talk about here is completely logical. I've yet to say anything that requires a medical degree to understand in all the years I've been doing the bright side or any of my presentations. Health is not complicated. Health is simple. If all else fails, you don't know what else to do, and you're just at your wit's end, stop eating. That alone will make a huge difference. E- eating is pro-inflammatory. Eating anything is pro-inflammatory. Eating anything initiates a defensive response, a protective response. So the less you eat, the less you're going to be subjecting your body to, the, to, to inflammation. Now, I know you have to eat, and the inflammatory response, as we've said, is not necessarily a bad thing. It's excessive inflammation that's the problem. Inflammation can be taken advantage of. It can be leveraged. It's especially leveraged in the skin. Controlled inflammation, controlled wounding. Skin has some, skin is very, very interesting. It's a very interesting organ for a lot of reasons. One of the most important reasons why the skin is so fascinating is it's covered with a thin layer of hard tissue. Think of your fingernail. You actually have a microscopically thin layer of fingernail on the surface of your skin. You can't see it really with your eyes, but you can kind of see it if you scratch yourself very, very lightly. You'll start to see some white stuff. That white stuff that's coming off is the dead cells. That hard tissue is made up of dead cell carcasses. And that is so, so important when it comes to anti-aging skin care. That is so important when it comes to taking care of your skin and and preventing the formation of wrinkles and and fine lines, as well as increasing and stimulating the production of moisture factors. We can manipulate for our own good and for our own beauty and attractiveness, we can manipulate that surface of the skin with controlled wounding. That controlled wounding, that sur- the, uh, uh, disturbing the skin surface, the teeny tiny slice of microscopically thin cells that are in the surface of the skin. It's called, by the way, the stratum corneum. You may have heard that term. The stratum corneum. Stratum means layer. Strata is layer. Corneum means hard. So the stratum corneum, the hard layer on the surface of the skin, represents the key to not only keeping the skin strong and resilient and healthy, but also to turning on the production of connective tissue, collagen, elastin. Even people who don't know anything about skin know about collagen because you hear it on all the commercials. Oh, we put collagen in our products. Collagen this, collagen that. 
the best way to drive the production of collagen, or one of the best ways, is to disturb the stratum corneum. This is so amazing. The stratum corneum at the very surface is like miles away from a cell's perspective from the connective tissue, from the collagen. It's not miles away to us. It's only about maybe a piece of paper's thickness away. But to the cells, it might as well be miles away. Yet, by manipulating or perturbing or disturbing that hard fingernail layer on the tippy top, you can communicate, you can send signals that will communicate way down deep in the dermis where the collagen is to help thicken and beefen the connective tissue. That means less wrinkles. That means less fine lines. Think about it. You can, you can manipulate the very tippy top surface and turn on the connective tissue. That's amazing. Skin's the only structure that will allow you to do that because skin's the only structure that's on the outside of the body. So we can drive the production of connective tissue if we understand how to control wound the skin. Controlled wounding, controlled wounding is known in the skincare business as exfoliation or peels, actually, or a little bit more, more intense. Have you ever heard of chemical peels, skin peels, glycolic acid peels, TCA peels, phenol peels? Those of you who are connoisseurs of skincare know what I'm talking about, but a lot of you guys probably don't. Nonetheless, it's just basically just disturbing the surface, the stratum corneum, and it turns on the production of connective tissue. It's controlled wounding. Wounding is a, uh, wounding, taking advantage of wounding is really what we're talking about when we talk about taking advantage of inflammation. There's a, there's a very important relationship between wounding and inflammation. Wounding is an inflammatory stimulus. Wounding turns on inflammation. Whether it's burn or cut or scrape, once you have this process set off, a whole bunch of biochemical reactions, a whole bunch of biochemical phenomena occur once, the, once a wound occurs. And you can have wounding inside the body, wounding outside the body. When we talk about inflammation, we're really talking about the response to wounding, some kind of wound. The iconic example is a wound that you get on your, on your skin, a burn, say. Say you burn your skin. Once you get a burn or a cut or a scrape, the first thing that happens is blood rushes to the area. The blood is the body's way of delivering fluids and white blood cells that will begin the healing process. Actually, it will begin the inflammation process, which begins the healing process. So you cut yourself, blood rushes to the area almost immediately. And as the blood rushes to the area, the blood vessels expand to accommodate all that blood. And as the blood vessels expand to accommodate all that blood, they become leaky. And they become especially leaky to fluid, water, and to uh, white blood cells. And this is how white blood cells and fluids are delivered to the area of the wound. The blood rushes to the area, causes a dilation or opening up of the tiny little capillaries. This increases, uh, this uh, stimulates or encourages the release of fluids and white blood cells through the blood vessel walls. And these white blood cells are like the army. They're like a defensive army. They're like soldiers. And they migrate to the wound to make sure that there's no invading agents. They clean, clean away the invaders or they clean away the dead cells that have been wounded by the burn or by the cut or by the scrape. And this is all occurring... This is so amazing. As the cells are damaged, they're releasing chemicals. In their dying breath, with their dying, last dying words, are cytokines, or chemicals that are released. As the cells die, they release these chemicals, and the chemicals are like a calling card to uh, the white blood cells. It's so amazing how integrated everything is. Just something as tiny as a little, as insignificant as a little cut will initiate the most magnificent, intricate, tightly regulated and chore- choreographed biochemistry is just jaw-droppingly complicated, complex, and amazing. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. Got some cool stories here. We'll read and then uh, get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. And we do have lines open, 844-236-6010. From the, uh, where is this? This is a Czechoslovakian study from uh, Praha Veterinary Medicine. The effect of vitamin E on cortisol and lactate levels and on the acid base equilibrium in calves exposed to transportation stress. Vitamin E, as it turns out, is one of the most powerful anti stress vitamins you can ever take. 
It is powerfully anti-cortisol. It's anti-lactate. Lactate is a really interesting molecule that is associated with the stress response. We're going to talk about lactate tomorrow when we talk about the skin because by manipulating the lactate on the skin, you can do some tremendous things for anti-aging. Lactate is a, uh, if, you've ever, uh, if you've ever worked out your muscles to the point of exhaustion and then you do just a couple more curls where you feel the burn, that burn is lactate. Lactate is a powerful inducer of cell growth, of muscle cell growth. It's almost like a growth hormone. It's almost like a growth inducing chemical, lactate is. Nonetheless, too much lactate can be a problem. Acid loves lactate, or sorry, cancer loves lactate. And of course, cortisol, we've chronicled the problems associated with cortisol for weeks or months now. Use vitamin E, mix to coveralls, 400 IU a day. Don't let anybody tell you. You know, up until the 1990s, they, told, they would say, uh, they told us in pharmacy school, vitamin E is not really that important. You don't need to supplement with vitamin E. It's only in the last 20, 25 years we've realized how incredibly important this stuff was. I shouldn't say that. 60, 70 years ago, the, the Shute brothers were writing research papers on vitamin E for cardiovascular disease. Vitamin E is one of the most powerful cardiovascular heart health vitamins there is. It's anti-stress. It helps balance out cortisol, and if you're like most Americans and you're dealing with excessive amounts of cortisol, and if you've got a chronic degenerative disease, rest assured you are, vitamin E can be very, very helpful. Folks who work out know that you can reduce post-workout inflammation, post-workout pain by using vitamin E, and of course, vitamin E is one of nature's most important fertility vitamins. Tocopherol actually means to carry children or to bear children. Okay, let's see here. From the American Academy of Dermatology's annual meeting in San Diego, drug that treats psoriasis also reduces aortic vascular inflammation, that is heart inflammation, heart vessel inflammation. Drugs that treat psoriasis reduce inflammation in the blood vessels of the heart. Well, no kidding. Why? Because they shut down the inflammatory system. Drugs that treat, this is particular, this is this uh, study was done on Stellara, one of those new biologics that we were talking about in our last segment. Eustachinumab, anytime you hear Umab, you're talking about one of these new biologics, and there's lots of them out now. They're super duper expensive. They supposedly have less side effects than prednisone because they don't work with the entire hormone system. They actually just target specific chemicals of inflammation. Nonetheless, they're terrible drugs. And they're way overpriced, way expensive. Why? Because of the research, of course. The R&D, the drug company, had to do nonsense. These things cost less than a penny, and they're selling them for hundreds and thousands of dollars. You do the math on that. Something that costs a penny multiplied out to $1,000. That's the kind of profit margin we're talking about with these UMABs and these new biologics and these fancy schmancy new drugs. And nobody's thinking, no doctor anyway, is thinking, why don't we see what the inflammation is caused by? How do you like that? When I, hear, when I read a headline, drug that treats psoriasis also reduces aortic vascular inflammation, I don't get all hyped up about the drug. I see that the psoriasis and the vascular inflammation are the same thing. The vascular inflammation is psoriasis on the inside. It's psoriasis of the heart vessels. Psoriasis is vascular inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation of the skin. It's the same thing. The body <laughs> breaks down generically. I mean, I'm laughing because I'm not crying because it's just so crazy. It's the same stuff that goes wrong in the body all the time. And this idiotic, crazy medical model of ours that wants to treat every single disease based on the specific molecules that are released in the specific organ that's affected, it's just, it, it defies logic. And this is why it's a failure, in my humble opinion. All right, 844 is our number. Let's go to Texas and say good morning to Marie. What's up, Marie? How you doing? Oh, good. Um, I was calling because I've been having a lot of food allergies. Okay. And it's causing me to have, like, panic attacks. And I can see that. Yep. That's the yeah. stress hormone. That's cortisol. So you want some help with that, with the food allergies? I mean, yeah. just It's really simple. You stop eating. This is for everybody out there dealing with any kind of digestive health issues. Okay? I know I said it a lot, but repetition is reinforcement. So, number one. Numero uno, fast for two or three days. If you can't fast, do a Suero V cleanse. You will immediately feel better, not immediately, but as you're fasting, you will feel better. You might get, it might be hard for the first maybe 12 hours or so, but once you get into it, you're going to feel so good you're not going to want to eat again. If you can't do a fast, excuse me, if you can't do a fast, 
do a Swero V cleanse, S-U-E-R-O, V-I-V. You get it from Longevity. Call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want the Swero V. They come, they come in different flavors. It doesn't really matter which one you get. Just get the Swero V. Do half a bottle every hour for two or three days. When you start eating again, pick your favorite food and eat it to your heart's content. And then write down in a little book how you feel for the next hour, two hours, three hours, five hours, eight hours. And you keep a journal. You chart your eating and you relate your eating, uh, your, the foods you're eating to specific health issues. And you're going to notice specific foods that you're having problems with. You probably already know, but this will give you, this will just give you corroboration, scientific corroboration. You'll just write it all down in a book. Then you eliminate those foods. You will feel much better just doing that. Once you start eating again, you find foods that you can eat, then you support your digestive system. The immune system lives in the digestive system, and nothing will freak the body out more than some kind of toxin getting into the blood through a leaky gut, which is what you're experiencing. The stress response, the freak out response, the panic attack response can be initiated by food toxins that are leaking into the blood through the intestine. So patching that intestine up is extra super duper important. So you're going to eliminate the problem foods, patch up the gut using probiotics, get, get the nightly essence, do nine of them a day. Your ultimate EFAs, nine of them a day. Glucogel caps, six to nine of those a day. Anything you do for arthritis, build, building tissue, building joint tissue is going to help you build connective tissue in the, in the intestines. So it's, it's kind of all the same. You, you'll be improving your joints, you'll be improving your skin, and you'll be improving the health of the gut as well as the blood and reducing the panic attacks. Don't, you don't have to eat anywhere near as much as you think you do, Marie. So eating a lot less food can also help. And then uh, also just a g uh, general nutritional supplement program, the, uh, the Healthy Start Pack that gets you all mighty 90 essential nutrients. When you are going through a panic attack, if you can slow your body down or pay attention to a part of your body, focus on a part of your body with your mind. That's called mindfulness, focusing on your foot or your hand or your ear or any part of your body. That's, that's a great way to help lower cortisol. Slow, uh, SDR, slow, deep, rhythmic. Slow, deep, rhythmic breathing is wonderfully anti-cortisol to help lower, reduce the stress response. Sitting in a hot bath, hot tub, hot shower, that can also help lower the stress response. If you can get somebody to give you a, a massage or foot rub or hand rub, that can also lower the stress response. But nothing is as important as the SDR, slow, deep, rhythmic breathing as well as keeping your uh, intake of foods down low, especially problematic foods. Hope that helps, Marie. I got a bunch of calls I want to get to. Okay, good. Take care. Have a great day. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Four four two three six sixty ten. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Deborah in New York and say good morning. What is up, Deborah? How you doing? Yes. Good morning. Good I wanted morning. To find out. I'm going to start a seven day water fast. Can I put the powdered vitamin C into my forty ounce bottle of water or not? Yeah. No reason why you can't okay. do that. A little bit. Cool. Don't do too much. You get a little crampy. But uh, yeah. yeah. No reason good. why you can't do that. Good yeah. deal. Well, I, yeah. Let us know how you do with it. Call back. Let us know yeah, how you did. Are you so trying to take better. care? of are you trying okay. to take care of something? Thanks. Hey, hang on. Bye -bye. Hang on, Deborah. Are you trying to take care of something specific, or you just want to, just to kind of um, get well, a tune-up? I'm a little overweight. I've got pressure. And okay. I did the two-week, uh, about a year ago, I did the two-week, and boy, it made me feel so much better. My pressure awesome. went way down to, oh, I love it. you know, was perfect. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know about the power of fasting before? Before, or had you heard well, about it? I, I kind of been studying it on YouTube okay. and um, learning about it. And, uh, you know, you have to be careful because certain people will just put so much negativity out there on you. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, too hard on your system and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I've, I've heard all that stuff. It's, right. it's tried and true. It's, a, it's been a health strategy since it. the Bible. Yes. So, all right, good. Good to talk well, to you, I have Deborah. Distilled water, and I used to use the vit um, sorry apple cider vinegar. Okay. And then I switched to six grams of the powdered C in my okay. forty ounce. Six and grams? Just, you didn't say six grams, did you? Uh, I think so. Six grams a day? Yeah, in forty okay. ounces. 
Okay, that's good. And you drink it all down, and every day you drink yeah. it all down? Yeah. Okie dokie. Interesting. Okay, that doesn't cause you to cramp up or anything. No, I did the uh, test where you just keep taking it every 15 uh -huh. minutes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and I uh, think I maxed out at about 27 grams, something like that. Are you serious? That's amazing. Yeah. Are you sure those numbers are correct? All right. Well, All right, Deborah. teaspoon is three grams, I think. That's about right, yes. Yeah. A little more, maybe. Right. Three grams, a, a teaspoon every 15 minutes for two hours, so that was eight times the three, and then one more when I started feeling it. <laughs> And that, and I said, okay, I'm good. Well, good for you. That's awesome, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Have a Bye great now. day. Okay. Bye bye. All right, uh, Tony in California. Good morning. What's up, Tony? Yeah. Hi, uh, Ben. Um, uh, I'll tell you about the. Well, anyway, I'll start with the most interesting stuff. A friend of mine, I've known. Wait, wait. For is this years. Tony in Santa Cruz? Tony in Santa Cruz? Yeah. yeah hey, I, did you get my yeah. did you get my package, Tony? I did, and you didn't have to put your name on it or anything, but it's, it's wonderful. I've used it a couple of times already, but it doesn't have any vitamin A in it. I mean, I No, I didn't put any vitamin A in it. I, I know I didn't put any vitamin A in it, but it's got a whole bunch of vitamin C, that, the fatty vitamin C. Okay, that's what I need. Uh, ascorbyl right. palmitate, right. Ascorbyl anyway, palmitate. Uh, yes. Yeah, I want to say that my roommate of three or four years, he was, I've known him for 20 years. He's, he's been gone for a couple of years, but he came in last night at 9 o'clock saying, showing me pictures of uh, nine per sheet, and it turned out that they were uh, kidney stones that he had to have destroyed with ultrasound and that kind of thing. So okay. He, 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 took a, he took a package of BTT from me last night, and he's going to be signed up, and he's a big guy, extremely athletic, powerful man, and he never drank water in his life until the problem. Isn't that freakish? So he didn't like to never drink water. I, he, he just didn't like to drink water. Okay, Did I've heard of that. You ever, no, I never... Anyway, I thought he was a super freak. Anyway, I'm going to talk to him again today. He's going to try to call Dr. Wallach at noontime. And I want to say that I'm still still plateaued out around 250. And I'm, I'm looking into cortisol and that sort of thing. But I'm getting enough sleep and I'm feeling great, so I'm not worried about it. How old are you, Tony? I'm 82. You are and you're I'm, a amazing, amazing human being. You're an amazing specimen, Tony. But because... I've, because of that, I'm, I'm, I have asked him for a senior building inspector at the city. I was a building inspector for nine years, and I've got apps in several other places, including Trader Joe's, to get physical activity. And, uh, of course, I volunteer as a, at a food bank uh, twice, or, twice a week and do the heaviest work they have. So I'm in I great wish, shape. I wish the listeners could see, see what you look like. Tony looks like he could be playing for the Broncos or the Raiders, whoever, wherever That's you are. That's true. All right, I don't Tony. Want to expect, Okay, that's Tony. Gonna, uh, what, how can you get me off this plateau? I mean, you, you keep telling. Uh, fast. Have you tried? Have you tried fasting? Fast. Have you tried fasting? I did it. I did the Swirl V uh, last swear year. For, swear for V three, cleanse. Three but I don't. I wouldn't worry, days. Tony. I wouldn't worry about it, man. You're doing great. I wouldn't even give it a second got, thought. I'm, I'm still considered obese. I still have a BMI you, there. It right doesn't there. matter. It doesn't matter. You're. You, I've seen you. You're a strong, vital, just yeah. powerful guy. So I wouldn't even and worry about it, Tony. About five hours three. I don't need about five I hours I know, three exactly. Hours. You don't, don't go by the BMI. Just worry about how you feel. And you, you look like, I, I don't, I, I'm not inside your body. I can't tell, tell what you feel like, but you look like you feel great. Tony, I want to get one I more call in, it. buddy. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks for your have, skin bomb. Thanks for, well, have thanks a great for day, Tony. Okay, yeah, take bye. care. All right, I sent Tony some Omega-6 healing cream with ascorbyl palmitate, which is one of my favorite forms of vitamin C. You can find out all about our Truth Treat uh, Omega Six Healing Cream on Truth, uh, on our website TruthTreatments.com. TruthTreatments.com. Let's go to Natalie in Maryland. Good morning, Natalie. What's up? Good morning, Ben. <laughs> it is so nice to be on your show. I it's been so long, and I was going to call back. I was so busy, swamped with everything. Um, but I'm back, and I want to share. I guess. A few stories since the last time we spoke. Uh, Please. We, you mentioned something about going into fasting, and I did that. Oh, and, tell the oh listeners what you were dealing with. What, what were you dealing oh with first? Gosh. Okay, so I'm, I was dealing with um, acne. So I had uh, bumps coming coming in and out throughout my cheeks, and especially around my cheek, kind of high cheek area, um, and in and around the sides of my face. And um, so I, you know, I was having trouble figuring out what's going on and, and so I decided to go with what Ben mentioned um, fasting and I did that for four, three, four days and oh my god everything just cleared out isn't that um, amazing also, isn't that amazing yeah, I, I, 
It's so, it was, I am right now just like so livid. I, I can't, there's like no words to describe anything of it. Um, and what are you I'm mad about? I, I had some food. What was that? You said you're livid, like you're mad? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm, um, no, wrong word. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, wrong word. I don't know why I said that, but um, I am, I guess, extremely uh, madly happy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're excited. You're psyched. I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited, and I want to share it with everyone that they can do it. And it's just, you know, the one thing I really love about listening to your show is that you don't tell people what what to do, like process, you know, you know, take this and that and this and that. Like you don't do the whole doctor way of of going right. about a generic kind of thing. People have to right. figure it out by themselves. Right. And that's the beautiful thing because every, you know. When when that's when that you know it's like everybody learns in a different way and I love and, it and so it's just so amazing. You get how, it. You totally get it. So you're a believer now. Yeah. No. Well, I've always had that. It's just that it's just been so difficult to to put it into perspective and everything. And I, I mean, I know this works. It's just that you know, it's just I knew it would always work. I knew that by listening to your show and everything for many years, um, it really it really is just. So it's just, I'm just filled with so how, much. How, can I ask you how old you are, Natalie? I'm 29. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're, and you've been listening to the program since you were, since you were a little kid. Since I was, like, 25. <laughs> oh, my God. That's yeah, great. After I had my daughter and, and everything, um, I, you know, just, uh, you know, I had issues with her as well. And when she was a little girl and I noticed, um, you know, I took your advice with, you know, doing probiotics and, and feeding her better. And just looking at, you know, the food diary, everything, I've done it for many years, and I've eliminated so many foods, um, you know, rice, chicken, cheese, everything, dairy, everything, just everything has been eliminated. But after, you know, a couple of years later, I just had just been having this persistent thing on my face, like bumps on my face. And Did you go to you dermatologist? Know, did, be, did, yeah, did, you go to, did you go to dermatologist yeah. and get Accutane or antibiotics or, you know, the typical I did. drugs? I I ended up saying, you know what, I've been wanting to do this since I was 26, you know, do something where it's a quick solution, go to the doctors to get help that way. And I noticed that I, once I started a program, I was like 25, um, my stuff started clearing up a little bit more. I mean, it started clearing up, but, you know, it was always just, it was just a trial and error of finding the right balance with food, stress, and, and my daily life and mental health. Everything was just all in one and good, um, good for so. you you know what your baby's going to benefit from it you're if you have a big family or if you have a family more kids they're going to all benefit from it as you when you get pregnant again i mean you you've changed a lot of lives with your new or with this way of looking at looking at health and and i commend you because that's awesome you totally get it natalie thanks for calling okay have yourself a great day i appreciate you uh, staying in touch and that's all the time we have for today i'm pharmacist ben Thank you so much for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products or to join The Bright Side Ben team. And don't forget to check truthtreatments.com for our truth treatment products, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now. 